Uh, Gray Hat has a detailed question in the Discord about piloting skills. If you could instantly have one other pilot's exact flying skills completely replacing your own, and now you fly like this person and not you, would you press the button? If no, who would it be? Um, uh, wow. Yeah, no, I would do it. I would 100% do it. 100%! No hesitation. Like, I enjoy... Here's, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Like... But what if you said, if you were able to swap lives with someone else, but you would never see your wife and kids again? Oh, that's hard, right? No, that's an easy choice. That's an easy choice, honey. I would choose you and the kids without hesitation. No, that's that's hard because like, like, right. But like, you're just saying I immediately get to become a better pilot. What am I losing? My unique flair? <laughs> um, yeah, I just suddenly become a better pilot. Like, and, and let's face it, it's not like I'm like, no, I want to, I want to climb the mountain myself. I want to reach the peaks of performance through my own heart, sweat of my brow. Let's face it. Like, I am not gonna be as good a pilot as a van as vanover or min chan or you name it i'm not i'm i'm the age i am i i have i'm i've put in the amount of time that i have i could be a better pilot than i am now but you reach a, you know kit when you're young they tell you you can be anything you want to be and in a way that's true like obviously in a way cynically that it's not true like probably you're not going to grow up to be president or an astronaut or whatever, just statistically. But like when you're young, you have immense potential. And um, as you get older, that potential goes away and is cemented that you the, the ability to do anything goes away because of the things that you did. You know, instead of going to astronaut school, you married your sweetheart and you had kids. And now you're 45 and they don't have, you know, you can't just go to become an astronaut at the age of 45 because your kids would miss you and you're old and you're fat, and you're out of shape. And so I'm not, I'm not going to be, I'm not going to be uh, the best pilot. So if I could just snap my fingers and suddenly be an amazing pilot, hundred percent, because then I like, I would, I would miss out on some things though, wouldn't I? Like one of the things that I think makes me good at what I do is that I take my own experience of learning something and I'm able to break it down into constituent parts and communicate it to other people in a way that they can understand and they can replicate. I can take someone who doesn't know how to fly and get them to fly nearly as good as me very quickly. But if I just snap my fingers and suddenly I was the best pilot in the world, then um, I would be missing the steps where I learned. I would just be like, I don't know. I just do it. So I would also want with that button to have the, com the, the, the process. I would want to also understand the process. But if you gave me that, I mean, who 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 who'd you pick? You pick Minchan? He's incredible. Vanover? He's incredible. Evan Turner, credible, very good. I mean, there's just any number of pilots you could pick who are extraordinary pilots. I'd pick somebody. The thing is, Min Chan's very good, but he's also so technical. Like, his freestyle is jaw-dropping, but in some ways, I don't know. I, I hesitate to say anything vaguely critical of Min Chan because he's so good. But, like... There are freestyle pilots who just have like more sort of soul, you know, like the difference between like three chord rock and roll, just belt it out and like, you know, technical classical music, you know, mm. I mean, I probably like pick somebody like Vanover, who is both a great freestyle pilot and extremely technically skilled and versatile. I would want versatility. I would want the ability to do all the stuff. So, you know, like Vanover doesn't spang, but I bet I could figure out how to spang if I, if I was him. 
Anyway. Uh, J and K Tech Stuff says they would take Mr. Steel's skills. So Mr. Steel is an excellent pilot, but to me, Mr. Steel is very in his lane. He's very good at the things that he's very good at, but he is not a a virtuoso, right? Like, like think I I want to be a studio musician of freestyle. Of, of FPV piloting. A studio musician comes in and they can sit down and they can play like any genre. Well, not literally any genre, but they just show up and they have all like all this musical ability at their fingers. And it feels a little bit like Mr. Steel is kind of like in his lane and hasn't stretched out of his comfort zone uh, in the way that somebody who's like, okay, here's a new trick. I'm going to learn it. Like, I've never seen Mr. Steel trippy spin. Mr. Steel sees people trippy spinning and he doesn't go, that's a cool trick, I have to learn that. He's like, no, I'm good. I got my thing. So I actually wouldn't pick him because I'm, I would be more interested in sort of broadening my horizons. 